We open up today's program with a look at one of Canada's top riders. His name is Quincy Welsh. Welsh, as you will see, takes you behind the scenes of what it's like to be in the exciting world of a jockey. We asked Quincy, why did you choose Vancouver of all the racetracks you could have attended? Came out here to you know to get my weight down and get and get get riding some riding fitness in and uh, make a little money while I'm at it. But uh, as far as staying, you know, it's it's a little more it's a little more competitive out here in terms of, of the trainers. You know, I uh, I haven't been uh, other than Barb. You know, it's, I haven't been able to ride for like Troy Taylor and, and, and some of the, the bigger barns, which which can be a little frustrating in, in comparison to Alberta, where you know I, I can ride for three of the top four barns. It isn't very often you hear other riders compliment other jocks, their rivals, but you get a lot of compliments from that, from your, your peers. Always on the back of the mind is he should be going at Woodbine. He should be at Woodbine. Do you have that in the back of your mind? Oh yeah, definitely. It's just, it's just a matter of time. I'll, I'll, I'll be there so, sooner or later. Uh, I'm kind of scouting an agent right now. And uh, after that, you know, I'll, I'll make the transition soon. You've ridden some pretty nice horses. Two Metropolitan, how, how'd you get him? Um, fortunately, uh, he wasn't doing that well here, and Terry Jordan had another horse that was that was running in the same category, and you know he felt rather than than have them clash, he sent decided to send him to, to Alberta, and he he ran second his first start, and uh, yes, yeah, he ran second his first start, and you know then my agent my agent seen that I didn't have a horse for the longer distances, and my agent contacted uh, Terry Jordan and. Uh, his history after that. What kind of horse is he to ride? Two met the fog because he's been a hero here for years. Uh, he was, you, know, uh, you would know. Some, sometimes, it, sometimes the better they feel it doesn't necessarily mean that they can run. And he he felt average, you know. It, but you know, when it came to running, he, he could hold uh, the maximum speed for a long period of time, which which you know, works to his benefit. He didn't really have a, a, a real kick or acceleration, but you know, he could hold. Top, top gear for a long time. You talk about weight, how difficult is it being a jockey in weight? It's very difficult, you know, you have to concentrate and seven days a week you must, must uh, you know, I'm 5'7", so it's, it's not as easy for me as it would be for some of the shorter guys, but you know, this is what I love and uh, as I said, you, you, have to keep, uh, you have to keep at it on a daily basis. For our viewers, this is an off day we're doing this, there's no racing. But you've been in the sweat box. Run us to your day. I'll run us to a week for you. I'm um, usually, you know, I would I would have a, a light breakfast. You know, come to the track in the morning, uh, work out some horses. Sometimes, you know, if if I find that you know that I've indulged the night before, you know, I put a, a sweat suit on, a mud suit, and underneath my jacket, and you know, try to lose a pound or two that way. And uh, uh, then after that, go in the box, you know, lose a pound or two there. Uh, go home, have lunch. Uh, in the after uh, late afternoon, you know, go jogging again, uh, maybe for an hour, and uh, then have supper. Do the same thing over the next day. The box every day. Yes, pretty much. I, I enjoy it. I enjoy it. You know, if I, if I don't if I don't go in a box, I don't I don't feel comfortable for some reason. I feel refreshed. That's hard to believe. You like going into sweat box, but riders do, don't they? Yes, yes. Oh, you know, I've been doing it for 17 years now, so it's it's like a it's like a religion. Is it a tough job? Yes, it is. It's very tough. In what way? Um, you know, dieting is tough, you know, uh, maintaining focus, you know, not being complacent is, is an, another obstacle. Uh, and then, you know, that's only the beginning, then you have to deal with the horses and, and the people on the back stretch. You know. During the winter time, do you have to, do you still have to? Oh no, not at all. I, my, my home country is Barbados, so uh, I go home and, you know, take it easy for a while, let the body relax. By relaxing, how big, what do you weigh now? Uh, right now I'm 115 pounds. When you relax during the winter time, how big can you get? 135. 135? How long does it take you to get it up? Uh, probably about six weeks to two months. Barbados, racetracks there, obviously. Yeah, just one. How well do you do, do there and how, how often do they run? I haven't ridden there in about four or five years now. Just, as, as I said, they just take it easy. Get as far away from racing as possible and, and you know, they take the family down there and just, just enjoy it, kick back. You have a brother? Yes. He's right in here? Yes, Kevin Nichols. I, I was in, in Edmonton and then he came up and went to Winnipeg and he didn't like it there so then he decided to try it here. I think this is his third or fourth year. When you're at home in Barbados, 
how did you find out about Canada and was this your first choice? Well, I found out about Canada by accident. You know, I, I was, I was, you know, I was doing quite well there as an apprentice, and somebody said, uh, told me through the grapevine that they were looking for riders in in Edmonton. I've never heard of Edmonton, so you know, I did some research and you know, found out that you know, in, in my home country, they only run once a week. So you know, I felt to be a lot better, you know, to, to you know, for experience to, to come to Canada and be able to ride four days a week. This lifestyle is it tough on a family because you do have a family, correct? Yes, yes, yeah, yeah, it can be quite tough on a family. Yeah. You know, I recently got married and, you know, I have, I have a couple kids, so it's, uh, we have a couple kids, so it's, it's, quite, it's quite hard to, you know, uh, on Sunday, I went home on Sunday evening and came back Tuesday evening, so it's, you know, we get home for a couple days and then leave again. It can be testing on, on a relationship and with the kids. Will you be coming back here and would you like to one day try it here? Oh yeah, definitely. I love the city here. It's, uh, as, as I said, a couple days ago, it reminds me of home, and uh, you know, it's uh, unfortunately, you know, I, I, I don't think it's advantageous for me right now in terms of racing. But you know, definitely, I would consider coming back here for the long term.